this video I'll show you and it's not a, a video that I'm trying to sell something to you it's an instructional educational video that I will show you how you can build this for yourself it's very easy straightforward and I think we'll take a look at how it works um, in two steps the one is I've put a switch on so the floodlight let me explain to you how it works in a nutshell it's a floodlight that you buy at any boulders it's got a day and night sensor switch it's got a, a time duration switch and a sensitivity switch so you can decide to have it on at night only or during the day or both and how long and how sensitive you want the unit to be the only thing that I did is I hooked up an additional siren to it with an internal switch so it's, it's, it's fairly easy. The principle is you have the light, the floodlight, with your two bulbs and that works on tw uh, 220 volt. So you walk past, the light comes on and light shines. What I did is I added a siren to it. So the only thing I did is where the light gets power from in, inside the unit, I added a, a step down transformer from 220 to 12 volt. And that I connected to a siren so as you walk past the light comes on and the siren is engaged until the light switches off so if your duration is 30 seconds obviously it will scream for 30 seconds and if you have it for time delay five minutes it will scream for five minutes but this in my opinion beats stuff like electric fence because as you can clearly see they kick through the wall and not over it so electric fence, no use for me. Beams, they can BS it in, I don't know, 11 different languages. The only thing that they cannot trick is your, your light sensor. So let me quickly show you how it works and with the switch on and with the switch off. Right, let's quickly look at it. Alright, currently I have it with the siren as being switched off, so um, I'm at home, it's daytime, but let me start moving towards the house and then you'll see illuminating, All right, so it now switched on. So now I'm going to activate the siren and we'll check it again. Alright. So this, the switch on the inside has now been activated. This, the siren is now online as well. So let me move towards the house and you'll see um, and hear it. All right, now it's been switched off again. So as you can see, you're not, you're not even getting close to your door at all. Um, you're not close to the door, nobody can break in, and it, it, it's a preventative measure. Let me turn the camera and I'll show you the other one which I haven't put a switch on yet. It's the one with the big ass bulb. As you can hear, nobody's going to really stick around when you hear that noise. So in the next portion of the video, I'm going to be showing you what I bought and how I assembled it and which circuits I used to assemble it. And I think if you build a unit yourself, um, if you have the floodlight available, that's no extra cost depending on how much you pay for it um, the step down transformer was i think 60 rand at the time of the video the siren was 80 rand um, you can build it under 500 rand definitely so let me show you what i did how i did it and then you decide um, mount it nice and high 
that people just don't have access to grabbing it off or anything and really guys you'll have peace of mind sleeping because you will know of the intruder before he's actually inside your house and it works i've had it for like 10 plus years cool let's begin all right let's quickly have a look at what we what we require um, the first thing is get yourself one of these little security light switches with sensor from any boulders but take note it reads here 180 degrees so you get a 130 degrees as well I wanted 180 that it's like really 180 okay so let's take that out of the way you need one of these per light and you need the two bulbs as well so get the light get the two bulbs right then we have the actual light this is your motion sensor at the bottom uh, let me see it reads lux time and sensitivity so the, the lux you'll set up for day or night the time is obviously the duration sensitivity is how sensitive do you want it uh, if a dog walks past it and farts it's going to be go off okay one of the security shops in town I just bought one of these little sirens and uh, this is the guy that makes that racket it's quite loud um, doesn't display anything DC 12 volt I'm not even sure if it's gonna no, it's not even gonna state the decibels but it's loud then we have our step down transformer this is 220 volt to 12 volt and I just hide it above whatever where I mount it I cut, I cut off the uh, connector because what I'm doing is I actually use let me cut this one off then you can see it this is for another unit that I'll be building tomorrow quickly and you'll see at the end it has a plug so this is your 12 volt part this Hong Kong Chinese shop had these or well, um, I suppose you can cut it off here as well it's up to you but this connects to your siren okay so I'll lay it out now exactly how the picture is you'll need a hammer when you drill it and you fasten the light get yourself some healthy plugs you need a nice sharp knife um, cut your wiring screwdriver to do your electrical connections and this is the part where you should really really have a look at how it's wired I'll try and get a closer up view okay so you have a few wires here positive negative and neutral and these go these two go to the light and these are coming from your they are empty at the moment so at the back you have a brown and a blue this is brown will be your red and your black where your life comes in right the only two that are open is neutral or earth and life right once you've done that what you will do is you will connect your siren on your outgoing red I'll try and get that in on your outgoing red and on your top blue let's number them one two three four five six seven eight so you'll put the 12 volt on positive number five positive number five and the negative you will do on number four okay one two three four five six seven eight negative on number four and positive on number five that switches your siren on and off right then you have your bulbs already put in you have it mounted against the wall you have your step down transformer step down transformer is 220 volt 
and that goes on position number five and number four going to the siren okay so you need 220 from this side and that 220 will eventually go to negative and positive on your siren which is then 12 volt make sense I'll put uh, I'll take a picture and I'll put it up throughout the whole video so that you can see clearly so if you can fit a light purely just fastening the light this is the only thing that you need to do and then you play around with your sensitivity do you want it as sensitive you can change it come on only at night time uh, do you want it a daytime only do you want it like half day half night and uh, obviously what you'll do then is in this line of your 12 volt going to your siren you just take and you break it and you put a switch in between on and off switch toggle switch that's it so yes your light will still work but then you just don't want the siren to continuously blur in your ears while you're having a braai or something so you can do that just cut the line put a switch in between and then have it loop and on and off that is fairly basic so this is the part that I got from the Hong Kong shop it's a power supply 12 uh, 220 volt to 12 volt DC 3 amps I think they will all be that size about 60 Rand which is nothing siren was 80 Rand and then obviously the light you have to pick up the light with the two bulbs get like a first gold bulbs um, if you have LED bulbs get like 58 watts or something you know it, it, it needs to shine bright normal stuff side cutter screwdriver hammer just fastening and a little drill so I'll put a diagram on the video which shows the connection and how it goes while you connect where and that's straightforward um, guys it works and, and do me a favor, if you're still around in this video, share this information, send it to a friend that they can see what has been built, irrespective of traffic of the channel or whatever, but just share it, like it and build it so that we can actually be a bit preventative and having these guys still outside our premises and not inside the premises because then it's too late. Cool. Any feedback? On the about section of my channel Frank's way uh, my cell phone number is listed there you're more than welcome to contact me if you need any more help on that um, or just comment below and ask a question I'll answer all the questions but just give me a bit of time like everybody stay safe and uh, enjoy building them bye bye